Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you another review of a Caveco Sport fountain pen. Yes, I do a lot of those, I collect Caveco Sport, so uh, you'll see a lot of them. Sometimes I make reviews of pens that are very similar to each other, but sometimes they have different finishes, different characteristics and maybe this is not that interesting for the non caveco sport collectors so i usually make an overview of the line like the caveco skyline uh, skyline sport or caveco ice sport or caveco art sport you can see an overview and you have the idea of you can expect but if you want to go in a little deeper you can see the exact review of each of these pens so today we'll do this one i will kindly ask you for subscribe our youtube channel if you like the video that i make and let's go on this is the uh, this is a caveco pen that i received from most wanted pens which is a an online an online store um, in germany so thank you for providing me this beautiful pen for review purposes and now let's take a look inside the box i've shown you this pen in the unboxing video but now i'm going to show it to you again so it comes inside this uh, in a tin box which has an outer sleeve made of black cardboard with the caveco logo in big and, and here again and here the same thing in both sides now we have this tin i think you all know it i also made a, a little overview about the caveco uh, cases so you can watch it if you want and let's open it inside it usually comes with the little round silver caveco sticker the little leaflet with the history of the brand, the guarantee and some instructions inside and the pen comes inside a plastic sleeve we don't care for that and here we have the pen and this pen is the I think you can read there if I'm able to focus Caveco Art Sport the color is the marbled red and there are some places where they call it marbled red and black so this is a marbled red pen that is not i would say it is not a real real red it's more like a, a rose burgundy red it's quite hard to describe it's a beautiful color with lots of, of depth as you may see between the black and the reddish swirls i think this is really beautiful and you will take a long time looking to this material just to let you know uh, a look of the of the color i have here the caveco art sport rosit which was the previous model from the uh, generation 2 of caveco art sport which is a more red one more real red and you can see there is a real difference between the color of the materials and in comparison you can see the depth of this one is beautiful but it is not as a bright red as this one is and just for further comparison here you have also a Leonardo Officina Italiana Furore and this is the, the color is passion red so this is a real bright true red and you may see that the color this one is much more vivid and this is more on the pinkish burgundy side but a beautiful color nevertheless now let's take a look at the, the pen itself it is a caveco pen a typical caveco shaped pen as you may see in all my other caveco sport videos it has a gold colored medallion on the top of the cap with the Caveco logo. Then it has an octagonal shaped cap with an engraved Caveco Art Sport Germany. 
and then it has a barrel that is cylindrical, it has a little step down here, and then it has a, I would say, a semi-conical end of the, of the barrel. There is nothing on the end of the barrel, and there is not even the little knurl that you find in regular Caveco sports. These ones don't have that. Regular Caveco sports are made of ABS plastic, and this one is made of resin. The resin of the Caveco Gener uh, Art Sport Generation 3 are made of um, are made with uh, Visconti acrylics. Now, let's uncap the pen. It has a screw cap. You have here the little uh, threading. It's not sharp. You can hold the pen there. It has a hourglass shaped uh, section very comfortable to hold, it's not very large, but large enough to hold and to be comfortable. You can hold it on the section or over it, there is no problem with the, with the threads. The pen is very short, as with all other Caveco Sports, so some of you may uh, use the, the pen like this. I recently understood that this of the end is called web of the hand so let's take these as a reference if the pen reaches here it may be comfortable or not to use and post it if it is less than that you have to definitely post the pen unless you have some kind of a weird grip like this and if it goes over this web of the hand you may post it or not so these will be depending on the size of your hand. So, you can post the pen, it becomes a full-sized pen, it surpasses this web of the hand, and it is a very well-balanced, big-sized pen. I've shown this before to you, I'm going to show it now, I usually show it later. If you compare it with the Parker Centennial Du Fold, which is a standard for me for size comparison with other pens, and with a Lamy Safari fountain pen, you will see that the Caveco, when unposted, is even a little bit larger than the Caveco do Fold, than the Parker do Fold. However, and I, I'm keeping these two unposted because these pens are not, they are big sized pen, pens and they are not made to be used posted. When you cap all the three pens, you will find that Caveco really is a small pen. So this is a pocket pen and it is a nice one as such. But this Caveco Art Sports cost around 169 euros. So they are quite expensive and I would not use this little Caveco pen as a pocket pen. I use an AL Sport or sometimes a nice Sport Caveco as a everyday carry in my pocket. I would not use this one because I would not like to lose or even scratch a pen of this kind of price. And then I was showing you the pen inside. This review is a bit out of order but no problem. Some variation in the channel is not bad. Here you have the nib, this one is a medium nib with gold uh, plated nib, steel one, to match the gold plated Caveco logo on top of the cap. And beneath you have the Caveco uh, feed with the Caveco logo. When you look like this, the Caveco logo is upright, when you do this, it is upside down. So they do not really match to see the, the Caveco logo on the on the feed you have to put it like this and if you rotate this way the Caveco logo on the nib is also upright. When you unscrew the barrel you have these threads, you have a large, uh, you have a, sorry, a small international sized ink cartridge and these pens, these barrels are so short that you cannot use a full, a, a large international cartridge or a converter so you have to use a small international cartridge or small caveco converters they are available and you can use it on this pen 
you also may a eye dropper this kind of pen because they are quite good to eye dropper they have this long and very thin threads why don't you focus okay here we are they have this long thread so you can put some silicone grease there and they will be good to go with eyedropper. I don't do that because I don't really like to eyedropper my pens unless I don't have any other filling mechanism for them. And I will show you just the section of the that one that I showed you before which is the generation 2 and one difference between Caveco Art Sport Generation 3 from for Generation Art Sport Generation uh, Generation uh, sorry Caveco Art Sport Generation 3 and 2 the difference between them is that this one the section is like cut where the threads finish in the Generation 3 the threads finish and you still have a little bit of material there this way when you have the pen just to store it away these ones may have the the cartridge put backwards and then it screws and you can have the the cartridge like there like that and punctured and ready to be used you just have to turn it the other way around and use it and you'll find these on every Caveco sport that you buy if that happened in these ones in these ones to have the nib the sorry the cartridge it doesn't fit the other way around it just fits the right way however because the uh, the barrel is not tight it doesn't squeeze the cartridge into the section so it will not puncture the the cartridge and you are good to go but the cartridge will be loose like this facing the right way to the section just for an over just to look at it I have here the other Caveco Art Sport from the generation 3 that I have. I think there are 10, 11, I only have 4, so long way to go and I think some of them are not uh, available anymore. One of those is this one, this is the marble green and yellow, very beautiful color, the tiger eye and the metallic green, also a very very beautiful finish. So, this is it. This is the pen that Most Wanted Pens sent me for review and now let's see how the pen performs on paper. And to check that we just need to face the camera down, have the pen available, post it because it's the way that I like to use it and let's see how it performs. And sorry I have the microphone wire here in the way, I have to put it somewhere else okay now i can do it sorry uh, this is the caveco art sport and the color is marbled red this one has a medium nib and what a smooth medium nib this is the paper is the rodia dot pad also known as Rhodia and the ink that I have inside is the Mont Blanc William Shakespeare Velvet Red this is one of my favorite inks my favorite inks are not red but this is one of my favorite reds ever. Unfortunately it is a limited edition so when my bottle is over I won't have any more. Maybe you can find it online for outrageous prices but I will not go for them so I will use it um, very carefully. So the pen writes really 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 well. This nib is really smooth very well tuned and there is no issues about it. I think it is a perfect nib. Many people complain about Caveco nibs because they are too dry, because they are not smooth, because they have baby bottom. I have to say this is a very strange thing to me. 
I just found out that the Caveco Extra Fine Nibs don't please my way of writing. They are a little bit too dry, but I never found a problem otherwise in a Caveco nib and I have more than, I, I think I may have around 100 different Caveco sport pens. So I'm not defending Caveco, I'm just saying what my experience says and I have a lot with these little pens. And let's see about line variation. You can have some line variation if you force the nib a little bit and it allows to be forced just a little bit, not much. So don't expect a lot of line variation, but you can have someone, some without messing with the nib. When you write upside down, it has a little bit more feedback and it doesn't keep up with the writing, the ink flow. But if you write slow, slower, you can really write with it a little bit and you have a much finer line and this is with pressure. So you can have some line variation with this pen. It is not made to have line variation, but with reverse writing and forcing a little bit, you can have some, not perfect, it is not meant to be, but you have some. And now about the amount of ink that is provided to this medium nib, I would say it is quite nice. It is not um, like opening a tap and letting the, the ink flow. It's not a very, very wet pen, but I would say this is more than wet enough for the normal writing and for your needs. So you can write with this medium nib and have a very interesting ink flow and a very nice writing experience. So this pen is quite small but it's very comfortable in the hand, it's light enough and some people say okay but I would not write a big uh, novel with this Caveco pen. I would say you could if you needed to. It's not uncomfortable, don't think that. Personally to write a big novel I would prefer a bigger pen like the Caveco, like, sorry, like the Parker Centennial Lufol because it has a much wider section. But this pen, you can write a big book with this one. This is not a bad pen. It has, it is large enough and you'll have a very nice writing experience with a quite uncommon uh, writing instrument. So, I have to thank you in first place to um, most wanted pens for providing me this pen for free. So another pen that I can add to my Caveco Art Sport collection that is growing slowly, but it is growing. And without it, without them, this would not be possible or it would take much more time to do because I have to buy the pen first to get the funds to do that. I also have a family, so I cannot spend all my money on pens. And Finally, I have to thank to you all that watch my channel and provide your comments below and help me going through this, I would say, this journey of talking about pens. That is something that I've been working on since 2011. So, thank you so much for this and I will see you soon on my next video. Bye!